So shoulders down the hill. When you see good skiers in the moguls and short turns, it kind of looks like the shoulders are down the hill. They are, but actually all the work is coming from the leg rotation. And naturally as a result, the shoulders are, are down the hill. So this tip can be very useful for some people, but can be misinterpreted by a lot of skiers. People get super fixated on shoulders down the hill. And actually what, what happens is they rotationally separate somewhere from the sternum. So actually we end up turning the rest of the body underneath here. So all of my hip has gone around, my spine has gone around, but I still feel that I'm separated because I've got my shoulders down the hill. And then we do the same on the other side, like this. So actually the skis just end up washing out a little bit. It's extremely important to understand where we actually separate from. We want to actually use more separation from the legs. So the femur in the hip socket is what we're focusing on here and not getting all twisted up underneath the shoulders. What we don't want is to start the turn by turning the hip. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and find some nice gentle terrain and show you a drill that will really emphasize the feel of the femur turning in the hip socket. Let's do it. Okay, so now we're gonna do a drill called the plow wiggle. It's important to note that there are lots of drills to work on leg rotation. This is just one of them. Now, key points to this are that we're gonna have a fairly small plow. We want some flat terrain. We want to allow the, the edge in a snow plow to turn the leg as we would in, in a short turn. So important, try and keep the hips over the feet as much as you can. And then we're just going to go in some small wiggly turns. That's why it's called the plow wiggle. Okay, so I'm here letting the ski come underneath me, but not turning too much with the hip. And I'm really feeling that internal external rotation of, of each leg. You should feel the muscles actually working. Remember that it's just a drill to help you feel the lower leg turning and not turning too much with the hip and therefore upper body. Okay, a couple of variations on this drill. We can kind of get the poles like this and put them in the belly button and feel the legs just turning underneath while we keep the poles pointing down the fall line. It's important not to start to go like this. Any Doctor Who fans who don't want to be a, be a Dalek but trying to keep them down the fall line. What we really want to experience is the legs turning underneath us and the feeling of that leg rotation. Here we go. So poles in the belly button and I'm gonna let the skis turn underneath me, keeping the poles down the fall line. Another variation on this drill is we can ditch the poles and actually put the hands on the pelvis, feel the bony bits in the pelvis and let the legs turn underneath us. And there's a couple of variations. Go off, give them a go. After you've tried these variations, we're then gonna go and put it into our normal skiing and short turns. Okay, I'm just gonna give you an example of bad shoulders down the hill. So this is me getting so fixated on my shoulders down the hill and everything else turning underneath. The skis are not really working. And now I'm gonna let the legs turn. And this is a good example of allowing the legs to turn in the hip socket, which allows me to do these nice rounded turns, allowing the ski and the edge to turn the leg. So, that, that's a wrap for today's lesson. I'll see you next time.